Welcome everyone, Anthony from Team 7 on another adventure. And today, I'm back at a park, like I promised in the last video. Uh, back at SeaWorld Orlando. This is my favorite Central Florida park. And I'll give you three reasons why. Mako, Manta, and Crockett. So until, until there's a park that got a better trio than that, you know, this will be, this will be my favorite park in Central Florida. Man, it's, it's like nobody here. Look at this. This is going to be a fun day. Join me. Currently, the far side of the park where Mako, Infinity Falls, uh, Orca Stadium, whatever they call it now. I don't know. I don't know what they call it now, but uh, that side of the park opens at noon. I guess it's a weekday thing. It might be different on the weekends. We'll find out here eventually, but that doesn't open to noon. It's currently 10.35, so we're going to see what else is going on. Pacific Point. My wife likes to go there and see the sea lions. They're so, they're so noisy. Penguin umbrella. Oh, look at the legs. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so cute. I don't know why I find that amusing. That is amusing. How much is it? Twenty-four ninety-nine. I believe that says. Uh, no, this one. Has, this one has the price on it. Yeah, twenty-four ninety-nine. That's an amusing umbrella. Currently it appears that Atlantis is not operational. Oh, annual maintenance. Was it down last no, it wasn't down last year this time for annual maintenance. It was it was in like April or May it was down for annual maintenance. Huh. Oh well. What do you know? They have the Seven Seas Food Festival going on. I believe it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll have to check. But we still have lanyards with uh, with available punches on it from last year. And when we tried to return it and uh, see what they were going to do about it, they just told us to hold on to it till this year, and they'll honor it. So we'll see. But we'll definitely be back for that. Hopefully, hopefully, they have that uh, cricket encrusted bison burger. Man, that thing was good. I'm gonna go check when I go back to the other to the other side where it was last year and see if it's making a return. I also seen some all American section there too that had a had a what was it called? I can't remember. But anyway, they had some sriracha uh, chicken wings. I'm gonna definitely check that out also. But it'll definitely be back here. Well, sometime in the next couple of weeks for the Seven Seas Food Festival. And of course, I'll be recording all that also. <laughs> I thought he said something else. <laughs> here goes, uh, here goes Manta.
Nines was 15 minutes. Kraken was five minutes. Hey, good day to be in the park. Usually this early in the morning when this is really the only big ride open. Mantis is usually 55 minutes as soon as you walk in the park, but uh, not today. I like that SeaWorld has his doors here and they put uh, this advertisement on so you know everything that's coming in the upcoming year. Right now currently seven seas. I saw a Mardi Gras thing too, which I never see Mardi Gras at SeaWorld, but I was online and I saw something about Mardi Gras. I think this weekend, matter of fact. Of course we come to all this stuff. One of the perks of living in Central Florida and being an annual pass holder. However, I really do wish we could start cruising again, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen pretty any, anytime soon. I think maybe next year, if we're lucky, we still have a cruise booked on MSC Metavilia for this Thanksgiving 2021. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't see it happening. Not at, not at this point. We'll see. Hopefully. Fingers crossed on the cruising stuff, of course. You know, <laughs> this was supposed to be a cruise channel, not a set to Florida parks and, you know, whatever and ever all this other stuff that uh, we currently put up. What can you do? What can you do? Variety is a spice of life. However, a lot of you watching don't like variety. No, I don't like variety at all. Every time I put up something different, I just, it, the videos do terrible, but... It is what it is. You know, the bridge in that side of the park doesn't open to noon, but I've noticed some movement on ice breaking. I do know they're currently testing it. So, um, let's see where we can see from this side. I'm trying to get that angle where you can see the train shuffling back and forth. Okay, see, I don't know if you can see it on the back side of the white flag. Okay, so apparently they didn't wait to noon to uh, to open up the bridge. It's like 11.35 and they already opened up and uh, they're already testing icebreaker also. Check it out. So we are definitely headed towards Icebreaker to get a closer look.
no signage for Icebreaker, the entrance. Looks like right there will be the photos. Huh. That looks like right there you'll see the little the little hut. That looks like it's gonna be the the photo booths to pick up your photos from the ride. Looks like I was right about Mango Joe's. It's roped off. The signage is gone. I know there was no way. There's no way Mango Joe's was gonna survive. It looks like there's construction going on inside, so definitely doing something with Mango Joe's. I just knew it wasn't gonna fit. Just the whole theming was all wrong. Well, I'm excited to see what's coming in its place. Currently just sitting here on the backside. Waiting to see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully they send the train. They sent about three or four trains and then they stop. So. Might be tweaking some things before they send another one. But this is a good area to be back here because uh, a lot of the cool stuff happens back here. As you can see. Hopefully, in the next few minutes, they send another train. Stand there for about 20, 25 minutes, so I'm gonna go head over to Mako and go jump on Mako and then make my way back. Also, too, the uh, Mexico for Seven Seasons down there. I'm gonna show you what they're offering there also on the way back. Watch me walk away and then they send the train. <laughs> That's that's usually the way it happens. Okay, so it's uh, almost 1.30, so I guess it's time for something to drink. 
I'll be back with you here in a second. I still haven't seen another train run on Icebreaker. BT dubs. So I got me an Icebreaker cup with the Long Island in it. And an edible straw. Straw's edible. Oh, it's color changing. You can see up there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this cup, but I'm gonna do something with it. Okay, so I've been here a few hours and uh, not another train has gone by. So I guess all the testing they did, the four or five launches they did this morning, thinking maybe that's all it's gonna be for now. But uh, yeah, I got other things to do. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head out of the park and do it. Also to uh, Mango Joe's, I believe, uh, I believe it's gonna be some kind of burger concept, some little, some new burger concept. We'll see. Also, two rumors, a nice break. Uh, we'll see. Rumors. Have I said? I said rumors. A nice breaker is that uh, next month it'll be opening. I'll have a March opening. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I hope it's a March opening. But we'll see. But that's what I'm hearing. You know how that goes. But anyway, until the next adventure. Gooses.